Well, hello everybody. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to put a test on a house that you just roughed in. That's testing your water lines and your drain lines as well. So it's probably going to be a short one, but let's get to it. When testing your DWV, what you got to do is you've got to fill it up with water all the way up to the top of this vent coming out of the roof here. Now normally we paint this vent black, but I left it white just so you could see it a little bit better and understand what I was talking about. The way we used to do it is like this. We climbed the ladder, we got up there, and we filled that up with a hose until it blew water out the top of it. Uh, we don't necessarily do it like this anymore because it's not that safe. The way we prefer to test our DWV nowadays is we'll get up in some high point on one of those vents up in the attic, somewhere on the second floor. We'll cut that pipe and fill it from there. And then when you're done filling it up, you got to put a coupling on that and glue it back together. Make sure you glue it back together. If you don't, you could have some odors and some smells in the house later on after trim out. Because if that's in the attic, typically your trim guy is not going back in the attic. So just remember to glue that back together when you're done. This one here is a new one on me. This is another method of testing your DWV. Uh, we see this uh, in, in Georgia a lot. If your laundry box is downstairs, they'll let you do this little thing called an 18 inch riser. And you'd basically come off of a lavatory and you'd fill this all the way to the top uh, with water that 18 inches up. Now, if your laundry box is upstairs, they're gonna want you to fill it up to this hole. Go ahead and knock that plug out and fill it up to that hole if this is upstairs and you don't need to do that 18 inch riser. Now this is only in some counties. You got to check uh, with your field manager or the inspector or your builder to see which method of testing. Uh, filling the stack up from the vent is pretty much everywhere but in a few counties you can fill your washing machine box up to that knockout. Uh, if it's upstairs. If it's downstairs, you're going to have to do that little 18 inch riser thing. Well, there's a couple methods of testing your DWV. You're going to have to fill that drain waste fence system up with water and then you're going to spend some time walking around looking for drips, looking for leaks. Uh, not a whole lot of pressure on DWV, but it has to be sealed to pass that inspection, which brings us to our water line. Uh, your water line is a little bit easier to test. Uh, every house is going to have a wash machine box like this. Uh, you're going to hook a hose to one side, a gauge to the other side. You're going to go ahead, fill that up with water, as much water pressure as you can get coming off of that meter. Um, and then you're going to shut that off, disconnect your hose, and hook up your air compressor and pump it the rest of the way up. So um, here's a little clip. It was from another video, but it was me actually pressurizing one of these gauges. All right, here we are at our laundry box. I've got my gauge hooked on one side. I've got my adapter hooked on to the other. My valves are off. And uh, excuse me if I knock the camera around because this air hose is giving me a little bit of problems here. But you're going to push that on. Oh, that one's been in the sand and dirt. Got to keep them things clean. All right. I'm going to turn our gauge on first, see we have zero PSI. I've already let my compressor run for a little bit, so it's charged up, so it's not making a bunch of noise while we do this. And then we just open our valve. And there it goes. Yep, right there's where about where we want it. Uh, the inspectors asked for 100. Uh, I like to see 120 because 120 is where our relief valves blow off on our water heaters to protect our system. So if you know you can test up to 120, uh, your plumbing system's gonna be safe because anything above that, the relief line on the water heater is gonna open and start dumping water to let that pressure off. But that's basically it. Uh, once you're there, turn, uh, turn your valves back off. I recommend turning this one off too because a lot of times these gauges like to leak down and if your leak is in the gauge, it's going to leak the whole plumbing system down and you're going to fail your inspection. The inspector knows to uh, come turn that back on to see if that needle jumps. But that's pretty much it. 
that's a little bit on how to test your DWV or your water lines at the rough end stage. Uh, they're going to want to look at that gauge, they're going to want to shake those pipes or look down into that 18 inch riser or that wash machine box. Just remember all the states are different, all the counties are different, you're going to have to check uh, with the field manager or the builder or the county inspector to see what they're looking for. Uh, once you've worked in those counties for a little while, you're going to know, oh, I got to do this or I got to do that. But thanks, guys.